So this is one of probably a dozen machines. That For the last six years, Don Ortiz Leg has worked on utility scale solar projects. We met with her at SETI Services, a Santa Maria company she sends business to. SETI is still repairing our post ponding machines. Ortiz Leg does community outreach for renewable energy projects and works on the permitting process with government agencies. And I think it's that experience that has given me um, an insight on the things that are working in California and the things that need to be tweaked a little bit more. One of the biggest issues facing California's 35th Assembly District is the planned closure of the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant. We have to plan on how we're going to expand our local businesses, and that means creating opportunities to make sure that um, local manufacturers have a smooth pathway so they can expand. We need housing in many parts of this district. We, can, we have great companies, but it's very hard for them to bring in workers if there's no place to house them. She sees an opportunity for growth in the Central Coast agriculture industry through the development of new technology. Agriculture technology is something that I'm really focused on. Um, that's where the future is. We have a great deal of um, opportunity with Allen Hancock College, Cal Poly, to grow that industry here locally. Don Ortiz Lake wants your vote for assembly. Who is Jordan Cunningham? Much of what voters know about Don Ortiz Leg and her opponent Jordan Cunningham comes from near constant political advertisements for and against each candidate. Jordan never served. I asked her why she's criticizing Cunningham for touting his work as a former prosecutor. The ad is bringing to light what Jordan has failed to tell the voters, and that is that he's a criminal defense attorney working every day. Ortiz Leg is the co-founder of the local Cunningham has slammed Ortiz Leg for her former ties to Code Pink, a group pushing to end U.S. military conflicts. She says she was not involved in the type of protest depicted in the ad, but she did use the group to speak out against the war in Iraq. Don Ortiz Leg is the only candidate for assembly who's helped local veterans. That was really my my point of, of turning, saying I want to contribute more, I want to make changes. and. From that, I ended up in the in the solar business and on a big scale being able to help vets that were returning from Iraq to get jobs, to help companies like where we're standing today to expand their businesses. Scott Hennessy, KCOY 12 Central Coast News.